Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 16th, 2020. Yesterday, we had kind of a mixed bag in the market. We gapped up, and as I suggested yesterday in, in, in the video, there was a possibility that we could see light choppy price action throughout the day and that really was true in the diamond spy and iwm yesterday but the nasdaq managed to push through and have a good positive day with the big techs leading the market so what does that mean for this morning well how about we settle in buckle up and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, everyone, we've got kind of an interesting situation. We have a huge day of data coming our way, kind of a light day on the economic calendar. And um, we have a futures market that is trying to pump the market up here this morning prior to this big data dump. So let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for the day. First off, let's take a look here in the Dow or the, the diamonds. As you can see, we have a uh, market that just closed, closed kind of flat yesterday. We we rallied up more than 200 points at the open, uh, gapping up, but then ended up finishing the day pretty darn flat, only uh, closing up about uh, a point and a half on the day. And what we're doing right now is we're right up here and we're dealing with price resistance in the chart. You can see we've got a little bit of price resistance in here. Oops, I'm sorry. I somehow have that on a two day. We're dealing right here in uh, this price resistance area and we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. Today's going to be kind of an interesting situation. How will we deal with this price resistance? Will the data that we get today inspire the bulls higher? Or will there be some disappointment that could inspire those bears to come back uh, to work here in this market, creating that lower high? Um, notice right here, if that were to occur, this has the potential of being a head and shoulders top, if that were to occur. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. I'm certainly not going to suggest or predict that that could occur, but we'll want to watch that carefully if um, some of this data happens to disappoint and we cannot push on through. Watch that pretty closely. Also keep in mind that we've got kind of a double whammy of resistance here that we're dealing with, with that down um, uptrend break and we're testing it in right in that resistance area. So watch that close. Now, if we look at the moving averages or any of the technical indicators, we're still quite bullish here. There's really nothing in this chart on the technicals um, in here that would suggest any bearishness just yet. But there is that reason for some caution and we should be a little bit careful how we approach that market this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very much the same thing. Finished the day, just a real choppy day. Managed to push up just a little bit more than the Dow by the close. But if we take a look at a short term chart here, you can see on a 15 minute chart, largely we went nowhere yesterday. We gathered up and then just chopped around kind of finishing the day um, just barely above flat um, overall and this morning we're trying to get those bulls inspired again with that it seems to be almost standard procedure anymore um, we get close to the market open and the pre-market pump begins and we push and push and push and push and then by the time the market opens we settle back down a little bit i don't know what's going on here but it's all push all the time um, in the market let's take a look here notice that we have some price resistance in this chart we're right here we're right there at that test this will be the telltale place will we be able to break through or will those bears come back right in here it's going to be kind of an interesting situation um, this morning as we deal with all this data. So watch that pretty closely. Also keeping in mind that we still have the resistance of this downtrend break um, showing up in here as well. So we could still push up and still run into some sellers 
here into the SPY, so watch that closely. Once again, technicals, moving averages, things like that, all very bullish here. Nothing suggesting bearishness. And we had a good substantial test of that 50-day moving average here on the SPY. That held. But we certainly want to recognize that resistance in this chart and tread a little bit cautiously this morning on that gap up open. We don't want to be chasing in a fear of missing out, uh, depending on how we may deal with some of the data that's coming our way um, this morning and of course this afternoon. We'll talk about that in just a second. Then we also have the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ was the leader yesterday and although it struggled, I'll show you a 15 minute chart here, we had this threat early on in the morning that the bears were going to come back in um, pushing that down into the gap, but those bulls come back substantially holding this, and we ended up closing uh, pretty strongly here in the NASDAQ. But we also have the, whoops, we also have to deal with this price resistance. And you can see we didn't exactly leave a whole lot of confidence in that price action yesterday that we're going to be able to push or pump right on through that level. So we're gonna watch pretty closely here this morning for that indication will the bulls or the bears take over at this point um, i think the jury's still out on that we're going to have to watch wait and see let's take a look at iwm now iwm um, held up quite well yesterday and there was a move initially in the financials yesterday morning to push up but they kind of faltered by the end of the day and so did the iwm we just kind of struggled along here in a sideways chopping range um, in that iwm we're pushing into this resistance level in the chart and let's keep in mind that that's a fairly significant resistance level that really transitions all the way back over here as you can see in um, early 2020 when um we just haven't been able to break through that overall. Also keep in mind, we also have that downtrend break, or excuse me, the uptrend break, uh, kind of throwing in that secondary level of price resistance in there that we'll want to pay attention to. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, surprisingly, um, has held up pretty strongly. Uh, we obviously have pulled back, but we're still holding above a 25 handle. And to me, that's just hard to get my head around. In my entire career, guys, I have never seen a market pushing at new record highs with a VIX so elevated. And it's kind of an interesting situation here in the market. Now, can we continue to push on higher? We absolutely can. Um, and can we break this back down? We certainly can. Let's take a look at the moving averages here. Notice that right now, we're testing that 50-day moving average here on the VIX. We ended up holding it as support yesterday, putting in a little bit of a hammer type pattern here on that chart, which gives us that, if you guys remember the old Arsenio Hall show, um, things that make you say, hmm, um, just a little bit of contradiction to the bullishness, the rampant bullishness, the, the constant push that we see to the upside. So watching that carefully, we want to be a little bit watchful um, and recognize the fact that we could get that fear spike that comes back in here pushing us up and that would create a higher low in this chart if that were to occur that would be a concern and we could really spike on that move remember it's not that first move that's usually the problem it's the hold of a higher low where real fear starts to come into the market and we've seen that many times before back over here that higher low is where that real fear starts to spike up in the market so watch that close and that 25 handle is going to be kind of an interesting level to pay attention to. Let's take a look at T21. Whoops, can't type. T2122 this morning. T2122 had an interesting market open yesterday where we gapped up and we were pushing uh, T2122 up into this area, but it quickly settled right back down um, because we had just a real choppy sideways market. There were about as many companies going up. Uh, well, 
actually more companies going sideways to down than were going up yesterday. Um, and that actually ended up pulling back T2122. We're right here about the mid zone of this. So what does that tell us? Well, almost nothing. It tells us that we have an open door for an upside move up into here, but we have an equal chance for an open door to the downside. So we're kind of sitting here on the fence trying to decide which way to go. And I suspect all of this data coming our way will be that deciding factor. So let's watch carefully here today on that. If we take a look at T2101, this is still a bit of a concern for me. And that is that we continue to, um, to deal with this downtrend here. The downtrend in this chart, we broke it just recently, but we broke it on the selling wave in the market. Notice that the buying wave, as we try to push back up, we have a declining market breadth. That's a concern for me. If we can continue to rise on this um, anemic um, volume or price action in the market, that's a concern because if it does break, it could break very quickly. So watch that closely. It's not a not necessarily a red flag, but something that we want to be paying attention to closely. If we can't get that inspiration from a su substantial number of bulls to push us up, and that market breadth continues to decline, more stocks moving down than moving up is going to make it kind of a complex market to trade. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar today. And on our economic calendar, we just have a slew of things to deal with uh, today. First off, this morning, we're going to get retail sales numbers. Um, according to consensus, that shouldn't be all that bad. So um, as long as it comes in line with consensus, we should be okay. We've got business inventories in the housing market index coming right after that at 10 a.m. Um, Eastern time. And then we're going to hit at 1030 the petroleum status report. And as you know, that could be pretty critical today with um, kind of the thought process that demand is drying up after the driving season for oil. And we're seeing that oil sector pull back. That's going to make it difficult for markets if that oil sector continues to diminish. We'll want to watch that carefully. And then, of course, the Mac Daddy of the day, we've got the FOMC and uh, Jerome Powell's press conference following after at 2.30 p.m. That's going to probably set the day, uh, make that decision whether or not the bulls or bears are going, going to in control. And then the Treasury International Capital comes in after that. I wouldn't expect much uh, to occur around that number. Keep in mind, we have several big reports tomorrow morning as well that we'll want to be thinking about as we close out the day and preparing the risk for the day forward. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We have about 17 companies reporting earnings, but you know we're really winding down um, earnings results. However, we did at the end of the day yesterday after the bell we had FDX report and they really um, impressed investors yesterday um, on their report gapping up substantially this morning um, we'll want to uh, keep an eye on that and then Adobe after the bell yesterday oops um, had um, nice positive results as well gapping up um, a bit at the open this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on that with a nice push up here in that Adobe um, earnings results. Um, but this morning, we only have a couple notables. Let's take a look. Um, BRC. And this is, I would say, just somewhat notable. <laughs> um, not hugely notable reports today, but BRC, one of those that we'll want to pay attention to today. And, and as you can see, uh, wide bid S spread here at the moment. We'll want to watch that closely as they report. And we have MIHR. MIHR. Guys, I've got a wrong symbol here. Just a second. Let me see if I can find out what that is. I mistyped it um, this morning, obviously. Let's see if I can find that for a... I need to look again. Sorry, it's ML. 
MLHR. There we go. Um, this might be somewhat notable this morning, so we'll want to keep an eye on that as uh, they report this morning. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could please click that um, subscribe button on YouTube if this is the first time you've seen these videos. And also if you could click that uh, bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I post an awful lot. There are almost 900 videos now on the Right Way Options site. Lots of training videos, lots of e-learning type videos, as well as the morning um, uh, prep video. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We we just crossed over yesterday over 14,800. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. And what's even funner uh, or more fun, or I don't know how to correctly pronounce that, is that the channel went over 1 million video views. Thank you guys. Um, I am truly, truly honored um, and uh, blown away by your response. Thank you so much. I, I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to help me continue to grow this channel, reach out to more other folks. Please feel free to share this video on any of your social media platforms. And remember to always click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment to help us continue to grow. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. There are several significant stocks out there. Now, yesterday I had mentioned um, NIO and several members Members of Rightway um, Option made some pretty good money on NIO yesterday on that move up. But now there's some concern in the news um, with NIO that they may be mis have misled people. Um, you know, one of those things that seems to be happening more and more these days. So keep a close eye on that. NIO may not be um, all it's cracked up to be. So watch that pretty closely here in the chart. Um, I mentioned Carnival Cruise yesterday, and um, with the new spike in coronavirus, I, rem I, I said it was setting up here in this chart, and I said I'd be hard-pressed to buy anything with the spike up in coronavirus, and that certainly played out yesterday, um, getting punished here pretty hard. So this comes off the list, not something I'm going to be paying attention to. However, if we take a look at Kohl's, Kohl's a very nice chart, um, breaking through downtrends here, as you can see in the chart, big bullish price action move and now just a couple of days of rest as we kind of slide back over here toward the trend you might want to put an alert here on um, Coles watching for that next opportunity higher looking pretty good overall Coles um, setting up and may be a pretty nice chart take a look at 3m now I've been keeping an eye here on 3m and I'm watching this more as a longer term trade notice in here on that longer term weekly chart we have that potential of this inverted head and shoulders type pattern coming into play we still have the big longer term downtrend that we see still have to contend with, but I do like the fact that we have rallied up here and we're holding a consolidation in this area. We need some inspiration here, obviously, on that chart to move on higher, but let's keep an eye on it. There may be an opportunity coming here in this chart, so watch it closely as we consolidate this over here toward the trend. Could be an interesting setup. Costco also trying to perform. Now this is a push back up where we broke down, broke down in that chart, and we're pushing back up to regain this support. Let's keep in mind that we still have some resistance in this chart to deal with, some price resistance in the chart to deal with. But if we can hold up here above this support level, Costco certainly has that opportunity to move on higher. Looking pretty good over there overall, watch that closely, uh, pretty decent looking chart. If we take a look at some of the hotels, hotels are starting to perk up here. Um, and as you can see, we're pushing up. I've got an alert on this chart. I was kind of hoping this would move a little bit earlier right in this area, but that sell off in the market pushed us down. Notice we're recovering very nicely and that possibility that some of these hotels could start pushing through to the upside. And speaking of hotels, we can't do that um, 
without taking a look at some of these casinos uh, and resorts, they are looking pretty good and pushing up. So we have P-E-N-N uh, -E looking pretty good. Um, CZR, Caesars Palace, showing lots of strength to the upside. Um, LVS has been little bit of back and forth here we're dealing with some price support resistance issues here in the chart but LVS might be something to pay attention to it could come around if some of these hotels uh, continue to improve um, take a look at McDonald's McDonald's has been very very strong now, I wouldn't chase this here but any rest or pullback we have blue sky highs here now in MCD and any kind of rest or pullback sets up an opportunity um, John D remains very strong could continue to set up uh, broke through an alert here that we had in right way options a little bit of pullback coming into that chart watch for that next opportunity for that move back up and really anything in heavy equipment um, has been looking pretty good and CMI is one of those that's up here dealing with some price resistance now I can't tell you if it's going to be able to pop through that or if we're actually going to fail here but let's watch um, stock like CMI and Caterpillar is another one in that category that's been holding up quite well pulling back to test support and trend could easily set itself higher so with that everyone watch those stocks if you find something in there that you like please keep in mind guys that um, there is no recommendation to buy or sell any security in these videos you have to do your own due diligence and plan your own trades I want to wish you all a fantastic day be safe be careful could be a wild and crazy day remember that volatility is high and anything is possible so stay focused and flexible everyone have a great day and i'll see you all right back here bright and early thursday morning have a great one